Amulet, who I believe has been playing the character since Smash 4, are just too spoopy, who I can almost guarantee has been playing the character since way back in the day. We're hopping right in to well, avoid the battlefield. Let's see how, how this one goes right here. And this is really interesting for both these characters. Uh, both of them can kind of... Toon Link can't struggle to kill as much as Bayonetta sometimes can, but these mm. platforms can give a lot of really cool resets for Bayonetta. So it'll be interesting to see what Amorillus can get started here and what they can't do. So, by getting that up right out of shield yep. and getting started right was kind of given. Uh, it would be... And yeah, this is exactly what you'd expect. Projectile, stay away yeah. from me. You have a combo character I do not want to play. <laughs> yeah, like wh wh when you were just like talking about... Uh, this matchup, like, uh, a bit earlier, like, yeah, I think the, the kind of the first thing that may have came to mind was just the zoning aspect and of Toon Link. Exactly what you want to do against these characters that of do course, 60. Of course. They put you in a cutscene, so <laughs> the best way to not die to a cutscene is to not get put in the cutscene in the first place, right? Yeah. And so the Bayo Cinematic Universe, can we see it get started, or is Ooh, Sumi going nice. to be able to get it? Almost getting an early kill there, a little bit of a suspect DI on that up, but not going to die just yet. And this is so scary, even at ledge, though, because now I believe Toon Link is out of up, be, up till back your percent, but you're definitely not out of bomb or boomerang into fail percent, because that lasts forever. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, which time's out, and here comes the giant fist. Yeah, Madam Butterfly right. said hello. <laughs> and going. But yeah, now, now this is so scary. Bayonetta, we don't really talk about a lot because she is this combo character, right? But she is so, so hard to approach. She has bullet ult, she has bullet climax, and she has pretty good retreating areas. Maybe not the best approaching areas, but pretty good retreating areas and the ability to just kind of get out of a situation and do that to yeah. you when you start swinging at her. Th th there is also, also that. <clears throat> so I guess we got to be a bit careful with how they use a boomerang. Yeah. Especially like other projectiles. And and be a bit mindful of how close they are. Because mm -hmm. I think that also uh, uh, factors in as to whether or not you, you get slowed down by which time. And how big the punish is. If you're on top of it, yeah. you can get a bigger punish if you're, than if you're farther away, right? But Spoopy, kind of looking for this kill, not able to get it just yet. Porto's not going to do it. But if you can get another one of those grabs, you're back facing the ledge, I believe back to a wood. And Ooh. that's a will. Nice that move lingers so long. <laughs> 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 that, 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 that that move is oh, seems to be over, overall pretty dang nice. I think it like hits a little bit behind Toon Link as well. Hits a little well. bit behind, hits a little bit under, hits a little bit above. It does a little bit of everything. Not a lot of everything, but a little bit of everything. And it, yeah. It's strange, but hey, it, it works pretty dang well. Yeah, and and, and, and given how uh, Toon Link is kind of seen when, when it comes to like... Uh, to either, ooh, nice Great kick. Great call out on that weight. They're stomping you straight to the blast zone. And yeah, these... These are good bat these battle things coming out to save and reset neutral. Bayonetta can sometimes struggle to get out of neutral, especially with Toon Link. You can kind of put you in that weird vortex where you're just outside, and then you get hit by a bomb into a bomb into a bomb. But this, not going to do it just yet. Missing the double jump, oh, that miss, might do it, though. up the up air and only to get which time to catch a up tilt to an up smash. And that was such good awareness, though, by Amarillas. Understanding that they didn't have a lot of time on that uh, witch time, and that Spooky was going to pop out. So up tilt him, turn around, up smash the other way. That way, as they pop through, come out of that witch twist, that, well, witch time, die right off the top. Really early kill. Great stuff there from Amarillas. And I imagine we will see something changed up. Probably stage. But Perhaps. Not sure exactly yeah. that. Look yeah, like as as you were talking about with uh with Battlefield, like it may not be a great uh pick because it it might uh op open up a window to ha have uh Bayonetta just keep keep on going with some of her combos. And I you do know, like so. this pick of Town. Uh, is it? I imagine the like major two reasons being that right as the invincibility mm -hmm. ran yep. out. Yep. Right as but the I. As the iframes ran out, they managed to get that down smash. That was kind of nice timing. This is a big stage. Pretty gets Toon Link more space to kind of run away and set up yeah. that zone, which is kind of their win condition, right? But also has a smaller blast zone, so that time where Amorless was living to 140, not going to be an issue. But also now you're worried about Bayo back, up to back here at 60, 70 at ledge. So you got to be very cognizant knowing that this could be a double edge play. Yeah. Great recovery with that, too. I didn't realize it had such a big activation box, but getting it there, and yeah, now we're going to FD, which was one of the bans from Amarilla, so the fact that this becomes FD, super, super strong for Toon Link. Yeah, yeah that, those platforms being gone kind of just, like, removes uh, a bit of gateways to just get out. 
of uh, of, to of tooling's just heavy use of projectiles uh, here and there. Yeah, and I really like this new uh, this newfound life trying to edge uh, guard tooling. Tooling has a pretty solid recovery at, in general, but Bayonetta has some of the best edge guard guarding in the game. Able to guard though for very long periods of time. Ooh. Catching, I believe that was DIing nice. straight. Ah, uh, in would have probably sent in that angle, but I'm not 100% sure. sure about that one. But really neither, good. Neither am I. <laughs> Getting that, that's going to be a jab to death. Oop. Oh, nice kill with that jab. Great buff, band that I needed that so much. <laughs> he got that a few patches before the end of the game. Ooh, and yeah, does that 40, 48, 50. Can okay, we get 60% oh. here from Spoopy, or is Immortus going to get this started? Hey, Something nice with the bombs. Dead. And this is exactly what you want if you're Spoopy. You want Immortus to be getting hit by these things to take this 83%. Because now if you get a bomb to fail at the ledge, this is a small stage. They yeah, might die. And on top of that, Bayonetta is pretty life, I'm mistaken. I believe I believe she's on the lighter end of the spectrum, yes. So Great position, but now Ammo will have started back up their combo, kind of brought things back together. We'll have to see who can get this stuff, because whoever will that's... Oh, wow. They got that witch time, but nope, that F smash came just in time. I love that usage of F smash there. Understanding that Ammo has been going out a lot of these various witch times and been getting away with them. So Spooky, going out an active enough hitbox directly after getting witch time, being like, you hit me already, you're going to come in and try to punish me? Don't. Love that choice there. And nope. backing up almost 80% already. Jab might do it at ledge. Ooh, nope. Spoopy's oh. still hanging on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not not after that up here, though. Yeah. All right, all right. It's, it's, it's in fine. such a weird angle, but that's not going to do enough yet. Besides, this this may be the percentage for, for a bomb to fail, yeah? At ledge, it sure is. But you have to be able to get that bomb. And yeah, you see yeah. Snoopy has bomb in hand, but isn't getting it just yet. It's yeah. taking the 64%. And Amulus has been getting uh, some decently early kills if they can get a uh, witch, uh, witch time at the ledge and an F smash. But going through, they're just kind of taking their damage. Beast oh bit. my is god, wait, is this going to be it? Yep, that's yes, it. Right nice. Off the top, getting hot by. The, I believe that's sort of the downward Dang. angle after. We'll see on the replay when we see not after after bono kick. We'll see on the replay. No, it was just a normal after bono kick. And yeah, you, that's so hard because Toon Link is so light. And yes, that top blast on Town City is huge. But look at how high up they go. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 sh I shouldn't even have even asked like, <laughs> if, if they're going down. Like, oh, yeah. Give me that percent. Like, yeah. I wasn't sure exactly because <laughs> maybe if they got lucky in the, and Spoopy was able to DI it down, he would have lived. But not getting lucky. And Emerald is going to go away with that 2 0 going directly. Dang. And it, it, was, it was a little bit unfortunate for, for Spoopy because they. Because, like, right, right after they lost their second stock, they, they didn't have a pretty solid uh, percentage lead. But then, like,. Uh, like that Bayonetta just managed to just rack up that nice damage and just take that stock just like that. Yep, that's that's